it's Christy and I'm here with some packing tips for Operation Christmas Child. I want to be able to see if I can give you some tips about getting more items in your shoebox for the children to receive an even better shoebox gift because there are more items in it. And the tips that I'm going to give today are basically regarding packaging. I know when I first started um, with Operation Christmas Child putting my items in the box, I didn't like to take them out of the packaging because I felt like it was a gift. And we usually, you know, in developed countries, we give people gifts and the packaging's on. Um, but really, it makes a huge difference. I wanted to show you this Black Panther, the way the um, whole thing is packaged is really cool. So here we would normally give them the whole thing wrapped up in a gift box with tissue paper and ribbon and all that. But Operation Christmas Child is different. And I had to learn over time that if I wanted to get more items in, I needed to take off the packaging. So let's just do that with this one and just see the difference. And there's so much packaging. It's kind of unbelievable. Okay, so here's what we end up with to go in a shoebox. Here's a shoebox. We'll just put them in there. Okay, very small. But look at what all the packaging, the room the packaging takes up. So it's just better for most items if you take the packaging off. But let me give you some more examples. Beanie Babies. It's kind of a choice, isn't it? You have the little tag here. It makes you think, oh, it's new and it's special. It's like a little gift tag. But what about um, the countries that don't have trash removal? And they don't have um, uh, recycling or anything like we do. And this tag and this plastic hang, uh, red hang tag will just stick around there for a long, long time and they can't remove it from their home or um, the streets. A lot of times trash ends up in the streets and it's just better to take it off. Um, it's personal choice. It's not going to take up too much room in your box, but any trash that you can remove is helpful for the receiving um, child and the city that their box is going to. So here we have some work gloves just grabbed some of my stuff back there needed to do this anyway and if you roll these up I get these at Harbor Freight and this is my packing tip for the gloves I think I would do the other way have the gloves on the inside but I like to roll them up and then put a rubber band around them and they're a nice little package, uh, not taking up too much room in the shoe box. Okay, here's a, a book light, one of my finds at the Goodwill. Let's see how much packaging is on here. Quite a bit, it seems like. Don't forget if you're sending flashlights or book lights or anything like this to send the batteries. Figure out what kind of batteries they need and then send them. So here we have a comparison of all the packaging versus the little book light. I'm gonna have to figure out where the batteries go on that. Okay, this is something that you might have seen one of my hauls that I got at Holler. A lot of these um, dinosaur puzzles. So before I did this video, I opened it up to see, ooh, what am I gonna do with this? And first of all, I noticed that this picture on the front is very important. When it comes to putting together puzzles, you're definitely going to want to include the picture. But then I have, these are all the pieces. And it's in two sets of balsa wood. And I'm thinking that ideally, I will go through and push out the pieces and put it in a bag like this. Then I will cut the picture out 
put that at the bottom of the shoe box and the child has the oh and here's a little piece of sanding paper so I would put this in the bag with the pieces um, the child would have oh, here's the instructions read instructions carefully in one two three four five six languages so I would go ahead and cut that panel out and put it with um, the picture tape them together put the sandpaper in the bag with all the little dinosaur pieces so that's what I'm gonna be doing with that one let's see what's next dinosaurs in a tube I got these at I think Hobby Lobby I'm not positive maybe maybe even the dollar store I think it was at Dollar Tree so this is a good deal for a dollar for all these little mini figures um, but I would not want to send it in this tube because the thing about items this size is they're great for putting in your nooks and crannies um, if you want to get extra stuff in after you've packed these anything like this small size is great to fit into a shoebox that way or you could get um, a little bag like I use for my marbles and you could put maybe three of them together and, and send them so that way you divide it up and this can be let's see one two three one two three one two three one two three it could go to four different boys because there's a 12 12 inside here so that's a tip take it out of the plastic make more room in your shoe box uh, what about this one this is the an Avengers puzzle tin. It's great. These are at the Dollar Tree. Any of these little puzzles um, in the tins really go together great. So I think with this one, I am just going to cut off the plastic that goes around that seals it. Let's see. I think uh, there's no need for the child to have to worry about figuring out how to take that tape off and it'll be um, convenient for them to have the tin to keep the pieces in and also for the picture. So you don't want to throw that tin away. That's going to be helpful for the child. But if you can get rid of this tape on the side, I think that's going to be beneficial. See, it's hard for me even with a big pair of scissors. Okay, so that one's ready to go. getting a pile of trash here. This is a cute little um, Imaginetics. It's a Batman. I have a Batman box. And so look at all the packaging. It's got to go. I'm not going to do that on here, but you understand the process. Look, before you put stuff in your um, shoe box, evaluate. Is there extra packaging that needs to be cut off? What about this? Your colored pencils. Um, the big cardboard box here you have the option of throwing this away and putting all these pencils in your pencil pouch maybe put a rubber band around them um, that's a good idea or if you don't have a pencil pouch you could stick them in and they can use the the box just like this to keep their colored pencils in there's no definite right or wrong this is going to be um, of course up to you and what works with the box that you're making um, but I just wanted to show you this, uh, two options. You can take out the pencils, put them in the pencil pouch if you have that for your school supplies, or just keep the um, colored pencils in and put them in your shoe box. This one is a little tricky. This one I got at, at TJ Maxx, a Smithsonian motorized 3D puzzle. And it's a um, Triceratops, I think. You can see, that's really cool. So inside, I opened it up before I did this video to see. This is a little tiny package of little tiny parts and stickers and directions and the motor. Everything is here. On the box, you have the picture of the Triceratops. It's like a trading card. It has the, um, uh, perforated, surrounds it, perforations surround it so that you can punch it out. So I think there's a couple of different ways to go. You could send it in this package, but it really is a lot of extra packaging. 
but you could also put it in a little um, soap box. If you had a soap, you could put it in with your soap, depending on the size of your soap and your soap box. Um, something like that would work if you didn't have a little, little pouch like I'm going to use for my other things. I have several of those that I kept on hand. Hmm. Let me know in the comments below what you would do. Uh, what little item could you, you could put it in an envelope? It's kind of in an envelope right now, but you would want to include, you could probably include that. That would be an experiment. You could open up this envelope, put it, put the trading card in and then seal it back up and you'd have all the pieces here. So that would be an option. There's several ways to go here, but um, you see where I'm going with this? Look for the best way to include it in your shoebox with including the least amount of packaging. Um, what else? Hair bows. That's simple. Just take the hair bows off of this um, cardboard and put them in a little bag. Um, put them in with your soaps, whatever you have a little, um, wherever you have a little spot for them. This is another one. Um, I got a bunch of these dinosaur, they're like tiny little Lego pieces uh, from Holler at the end of last year. And I think that if I take this plastic tape off of the egg, it's gonna open too easy. So I think I'm gonna have to transfer this into a different container, a little soap box, a little tin, a little um, bag, drawstring bag, something different than this egg. Um, making sure to include all the directions and everything in it. Here's another, it's just a set of uh, bracelets. Just take the little hang tag off. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. This is a, a mini screwdriver. It's really cool. I got that at Holler too last year. Oh, and it opens up like this. I tried it. Oh, there we go. And the directions are on the back here. But what do I do? I mean, this is a cool plastic container here with the screwdriver in it. So I was thinking and thinking, what could I do? Could I maybe add some other things like this carabiner measuring tape uh, and take the actual screwdriver out of the packaging and stick that in so they're, so we're making the most use of the packaging and include the uh, directions. I think that might be the way to go because this is a pretty cool case. Let me know what you think about that too because I could also put it in a different, like a, a little drawstring pouch or, or a soap dish too. But it's kind of cool, I like the case. So let me know what you think about that. But I like the idea of adding extra things in it. And it's, then it ends up being about the size of a soapbox. Yo-yo, it makes so much more room if you take your yo-yo out of the package. This is actually like a full day's work sometimes taking the packaging off depending on how many shoe boxes you're making. But that can save you time if you have your packaging off already before you actually go to pack your shoe boxes. Look at that. I love yo-yos for shoe box because they just fit in the nooks and crannies so well. And then this last one, I just wanted to show you how much packaging this had. It's a really cool moving mouth, flying, like a pterodactyl. Let's see if it says it on there. Um, and then it has a little fish by it. Um, the fish goes in the mouth for the pterodactyl to hold it. So there's all this extra packaging that isn't needed. And somehow, I think I'll maybe tape the fish to the wings, underneath the wings of the pterodactyl. And then it'll take up a lot less room. All right, well, that's it for this tips and tricks of shoebox packing and not keeping our extra packaging supplies to, that take up too much room and also add to the trash problem in some of these other countries. And I hope that you enjoyed it and that you'll tune in for more tips and tricks. And I want to, um, hopefully you'll leave some comments below and answering some of the questions on how you do 
your um, boxes and what you leave on the packaging and what you take off the packaging and what you think of taking off the hang tag on the tie toys, the Beanie Babies. I really love reading your uh, comments and thank you for watching. Bye for now.